willing to go into detail on any, any specific feelings you had over a heartbreak? Um, Breaking of your heart? Yeah, I can go ahead. You don't have to. I'm gonna hold it. I don't get pissed that often. I was fucking pissed. Like, it sucked, you know? <laughs> I want someone who I feel is at least as good as I am. And I don't just mean, like, in, you know, all the same ways. I just, I just mean they have to bring a lot to the table of life. Off and you already like part part mentalized it in your mind, so it doesn't have as much of an effect on you. I mean, it sounds so cliche, but some part of me like actually died, and that, and I would never have that again, and that was that was rough. <laughs> people change how they relate to love. I don't think love in itself changes. I think how people interact with it changes. If you care about someone. It's still um, important to, you know, to consider them if they're important to you. And you can be devoted to someone and not see them. And you can be devoted to someone that you don't love. But you have to. If someone is important to you, you have to make them a priority and not, you know, so send them up the river because it's inconvenient. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people have. Um, I think a lot of people have fallen out of love or gotten out of relationships because, you know, they're not devoted and they're not willing to go the, uh, the extra mile.